Anyway, we're rolling. All right. All right, here we go. I hope we can hear. My name is Kelly Enter. I've been working for Cape Ann Towing for about 14 years. Feels like forever. <laughs> um, the day-to-day -day operation of the boats, um, pretty much the head captain for driving the tows and running the operations, besides myself and the, and the owner. Um, on average day is uh, an early morning call out telling us what the schedule for the day is and the schedule can change as the day goes on. It's written in an etched hitch pad. Uh, usually the average tow we do is a large motor yacht of some size between 100 feet and 180 feet towing it up one of the most narrowest and windiest navigable rivers in the world dealing with day-to-day -day idiots on other boats as well as local traffic, commercial traffic and the bridges that don't want to open on demand all the time. Um, one of the craziest calls we've ever been on happened during a hurricane here in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we got the call at about 9 o'clock in the morning that a large yacht had broken free during the hurricane and was smashing into other boats. We proceeded down to the tugboats, headed out, trying to block ourselves from the wind and the rain, and continued out to find the boat, crashed up against two other yachts and taken down some of the docks at one of the local marinas here. It uh, was a long day of unwinding and unwrapping things and getting the boat out into safety back to its home dock. We also chased some other boats around that day and helped out with a lot of calls, and emergency moves. And that was the time the LSU guys were towing one up the river and it sank. That was the one. We towed a, uh, one time we towed an antique yacht up the river. It was built in 1903. It was a Wood Elko yacht. We did it as a favor to a little lady who just lost her husband. And so we did kind of a charity deal. We told them we towed up to the marina for free. We were responsible for it and sank. And the way up the river, it split open in two. and. She sank behind the tug. We got it to the dock, started pumping it out, and it went down faster than the pumps would even try to pull it up. Um, we proceeded to leave it there, and see if I took it over from there. Um, one of the worst days at work was when we rolled over one of the tugboats. A safety line had broke, which all the tugboats have, and it just had a chase and kind of broke free, and the back tug captain didn't catch it in time, and before he knew it, he was upside down, floating away. He got out safe and made it back to the dock, and I towed and turned the whole yacht and towed around along with the tugboat underwater, dragged the whole rig back to the dock and got it tied up safely. The tugboat was a total loss, but the yacht was safe the whole time and didn't have any problems with that. Um, the average day is usually about you know, between two and three tows. Usually it's one good long tow up and down the river, and then we have a bunch of moves in the yards. The yards can be pretty hairy. Um, some of the yards are extremely tight, right down to inches on every move we do. Yeah, and the boats aren't getting any smaller. And the yachts are definitely not getting any smaller. They're actually growing in size, and it's starting to get a little concerning sometimes. Uh, when I don't run the tugboats, I run private yachts as well. I work for a gentleman who owns an island in the Bahamas, as well as I work for a large, run a large motor yacht uh, up and down the river, as well as we towed up and down the river with the company, depending on the mood I'm in and, and uh, what we've done to the boat, it needs to be towed or not. The average yacht is not broken but it's just so large that they can't maneuver up and down the river fast enough to make the turns and the bends. Let's see, the, probably one of the most exciting tows I've ever did was coming in an inlet with a 55-footer in tow in severe storms. And I got it about halfway through the inlet channel and the rope broke. I had to turn the large offshore tug we have around and go back and get the tow. The poor guy in the, uh, who was riding the tow was turning three sheets of grain and throwing up over the back deck. Um, he has no use to me. So I had to maneuver the tug in front of the yacht, and eight foot seas, and try to put a line on it, get in control, and tow it back in the inlet, which I just lost it in. That was a lot of fun. We were ankle deep in water in the tug and watching waves crash over the top of the boat. It was a uh, pretty crazy thing. Um, some of the other things we do is uh, we go out alongside the ships and uh, do launches out to the ships. Uh, the average ship's probably somewhere between 700 feet to up to 1,000 feet. We take our 40-foot boat, ride alongside of it, transfer people, cargoes, and all kinds of provisions up and down the ladders. It can be a, a very easy job or a very stressful job, depending on the weather, what's going on, what the ship's requiring us to move, how heavy the equipment is. Nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime pouring rain. We, that's one of our other side gigs as part of the company. Um, 
some of the crazier salvages have been on. Uh, large motor yachts that have taken on water for unforeseen, unforeseen reasons until we get the boat up we can find where the leak is. Uh, a lot of small boats, we've done a couple of ocean salvages where we go out and rescue a boat that's sinking offshore, get the people off. Um, I mainly do most of the towing. I'm not too big in the salvage end of it. So I can do it just about any tow, so they put me on that where the guys can run around plug the bags and the pumps and all that stuff. You know, sometimes when the phone rings and, you know, whoever's not towing can go run to a salvage job. Absolutely. Um, well, I get stuck driving the big salvage truck all the time, which is okay. Good truck to drive around. Um, some of the other crazy calls we get are, uh, you know, people want us to move their boats, you know, and it's just really tight, strenuous situations where the boat itself would have a hard time doing it, let alone hook to it with a 25-foot or 26-foot tug to move it around. A lot of that you'll see in the yards. The yards are, uh, sometimes they want you to do what we would like to deem as the mission impossible. We do that by appointment only. And uh, it's a lot of fun to see us get it in the spot successfully and the crew's reaction and how well we do getting it in there. That's probably the biggest payoff on the job is the reaction of the captain saying, wow, I could never have done that. And here we are doing it with two little ropes and two little tugboats. It happens. Um, you know, some of the things we do is a lot of ungrounding. Find a lot of boats of ground in Fort Lauderdale that just don't pay attention to the channel markers. Uh, they run aground coming in from the ocean. They touch bottom in certain places. Uh, we pulled a 115-foot yacht off there one time. It totally destroyed itself into the rocks. They patched it up. Made our big tug as well as our little tugs on. Took about three days to get it to free up. A little more salvage. Complicated salvages we did. That's about it. Um, that's, that's about it in a nutshell, really. I uh, grew up in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Started working on the Jungle Queen, which is one of the bigger tour boats on the New River. Learned how to drive boats on that. My first job as a commercial captain was working for the tugboat company, Cape Ann. And uh, 15 years later, I'm still doing it. And I have a tendency to wander off and jump on the big yachts once in a while, get a little bit of the, the uh, offshore action of the Bahamas and such. But, uh, it's always a great escape to get back to something that's totally different. Every day is different on the boats. There's no job that's the same ever. Now, what's different about it, the equations change, the weather's changed, the tide's different, the traffic, the people, the captains are different, the crew doesn't know what they're doing or doesn't know what they're doing. It's always something different. So that so every day is a new day on the boat. You don't know what you're going to get into until you get there and put up your line. Um, biggest yacht we ever towed up the river is 180 feet. That holds the record for the largest yacht up the river. Um, Cordy towed it up. And I towed it down. Pretty, uh, pretty good accomplishment for the river. Yeah. Um, what was it? Obsession. Obsession, yeah. It was yeah. Ocean Co. Uh, we've towed just about every boat, every make of boat there is. Um, every boat's different. Every boat tows different. Um, steel boats are a lot heavier and unresponsive. For the fiberglass boats are a little more responsive, but as well can be very complicated to tow. And you've got jet boats and conventional drive boats. Yeah. I think the largest boat I've ever towed to put a line on was about three, up to 289 feet long. And that was the Princess Mariana, which is now Pegasus. Was that like a $200 million boat? Yeah, it's about $200 million. It's probably the most expensive boat I've ever towed as well. I think we put four tugs on that that day. Yeah, we do, we do a lot of different things, you know. A lot of people will just look up onto it with one boat, we'll put on four, just a little safety factor. We don't tell our insurance company we moved that boat. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. I'm going to wrap it up. Go ahead. Shut that thing 